Offensive demolition of houses and shutter homes is something that has proved it to be a hard reality to deal with and that leaves hundreds of thousands of people homeless. From superb and well-constructed buildings to a miniature hiding slum areas, the agony is not any different in dealing with demolitions. Enough is enough. Amnesty International is not surrendering to defeat. Currently we have people signing the petition here with us. This is a petition that will be presented in September in the World Urban Forum that will be held in September in Italy. Uh, it will be asking for an end to forced eviction as well. They say no person should be rendered homeless consequent to forced eviction. Adequate housing and compensation for all losses must be made to those affected prior to eviction, regardless of whether they rent, own, occupy or lease the land or housing facility in question. It is the responsibility of government to ensure that people's housing rights are respected, protected and fulfilled. So the issues of where they, they occupy should be issues that are looked at within the framework of the right to adequate housing and therefore ask ourselves what has not happened in respect in fulfilling and protecting of people's rights. The forced evictions often lead to loss of livelihood and meager possessions, driving people deeper into poverty. Those evicted are hardly ever consulted, neither are they granted compensation or adequate alternative housing. Would like to pressure the government to legislate on forced evictions because we don't have any legal mechanisms, be it policy or be it law, that govern uh, evictions. Elsewhere in Madare slums, over 200 people have been left homeless after their houses were burnt down after fire broke out on Saturday night. One man and two children are reportedly dead as a result of the inferno. Tumepoteza watu watatu, of which mmoja wao ni chairman wa mta, alikufa. Watoto wa yule familia moja, wakakufa. Now as we are talking right now, more than 300 people are displaced yeah, and they don't, they don't know where to go. As for the cause of the fire, both landlords and tenants appear to read from the same script. The fire was, came about by a small burning lamp that was left on at night. And the, the babies, the, the small boys that were in the house, they slept. Ilianza na nyumba moja, ambayo mbibatutu alikuwa melala, na kaza ukuzimata. Fuchi moto ikaende kashika curtain, na nyumba ikaanza kuchomeke hapo. Sasa kitu lianza kitu sasita, moto kajia ulipigia na yu moto, moto, tuanexe mbaka tuka call zima moto. Samuel Tawish, GBS News.